Good afternoon, everybody. Scott Mills here with Lazy M Ranch. I am super excited. It is Sunday, April 30th, and here in a couple hours, I am going to go get a couple of Nucleus Colony Bees from Spicy Fly Honeybees in Tomball, Texas. These are their Mite Reaper line of hygienic bees, and I am really excited to get those. I'm going to be installing these into this Layens Horizontal Hive and that's going to be a little bit of a, let's just say a acrobatic maneuver because as most nucleus colonies you buy they're going to come on your typical Langstroth frames and this is a Layens hive so the frames are not going to fit uh, one to one so the bees are going to come on a frame like this and I'm going to put them in a hive that takes frames like this. So that's not an insurmountable obstacle. It's not too tricky. It is just something you need to prepare for. So we're going to discuss real quickly here what I need to do to prepare. I'm almost done and I'm just going to walk through it. So real quick, let's prepare this hive for the bees that are going to come here in just a couple of hours. So first off, you'll notice that the difference in width of the frames. This Langstroth frame will not fit in this Layens hive and either width or depth. So what we're going to do is we're going to install a riser on this hive so that we can install the frames vertically. So I've prepared this little riser here. It's got some little uh, extensions here so that it will register on the existing frame rests in the hive. So this is just going to sit into place right there and now I've got four screws here which I'm going to go ahead and screw this in place. That is probably not necessary. Matter of fact, I'm certain it's not necessary. I just don't want to take a chance that I go lift the cover off this hive and I accidentally pull this little extension off. So I'm just going to real quickly drive four screws And now this little extension is not going to go anywhere. This frame or this hive body is now an extra three and a half inches deep. So now one of these Langstroth frames would fit in here vertically. Still won't fit horizontally, but it would fit in here vertically. But to get it to fit, I'm going to have to put it in a frame adapter. So I've got frame adapters prepared for my frames when they come from my nucleus colonies. So I've got five of these frame adapters prepared for each nucleus colony and when I get my nuke I'm just going to put the frame in here. The adapters prepared. There are two screws already started holes drilled and countersunk. I'll just drive the screws in and then this would fit in here just like it was a normal lay-ins hive so, or lay-ins frame. So at that point you would move these until there were no longer any brood on the frames and then when you no longer had any brood on these frames you would rotate them out until all you had was lay-ins 
uh, frames in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get five of my frame adapters in here and I'm going to work left to right as I'm working from the rear of the hive. So if you were at the front of the hive, that's going to be right to left. So I'm going to go ahead and put five of these frame adapters in here to get ready for the five frames of bees that are coming in the loop. Then I'm going to put five lens frames that already have natural wax foundation on them. And I'm going to put these nearest to the entrance that I will open. And then I'm also I'm going to put a feeder in here. And I thought I had a feeder out. And by the magic of video editing, I will have a feeder. Alright, so I'm going to put a lens frame feeder in here. When I put these in here, I'm going to go ahead and fill this feeder up. And that will probably, hopefully, be the only time I will feed them. I'm just going to give them some feed to let them get started, let them start to help them start drawing out comb. I've also, into each cell of this frame feeder, I've put some stainless steel hardware cloth just to give them a little bit of an extra ladder so that they don't, uh, just as an additional drown proofing. So I'm going to go ahead and put the frame feeder in here. All right, so the frame feeder's in place. Now, I've also made an extra tall follower board that is extra tall to accommodate the height, the extra height of this uh, extension. So, got the extra tall follower board here. Okay, that is ready for the loop to be here. So, gonna go ahead, put the cover back on. I've got one more hive to do and then gonna go get the bees and it will hopefully be about maybe a 10 minute job to get the bees in here put each frame into the adapter drive two screws buckle them up i may uh do that this evening when i get them here i may wait and do it tomorrow we'll see how uh, the bees are feeling when i get them home so thank you everybody i will uh, come back to the video later and uh, film the process of actually installing the bees in the box. So make sure you, wherever you find this video, on whatever channel, you like and subscribe because the channel that you're going to find this on is going to be a small channel that can really use the support, the algorithms that uh, drive people to the channel. Pay attention to that, so make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you to Michael Hardman at Spicy Fry Honeybees for the support that he gives the community. Thank you for to Magnolia Swarm Beekeepers Club in Magnolia, Texas. It's a great community of people, a real community. Uh, and uh, if you're in the Magnolia, Texas area, you should check that out. And thank you to Magnolia Bee and Supply that supports that community. Once again, I'm Scott Mills with Lazy M Ranch. Bye-bye.